All right, guys, this is the Tirata in-car phone holder. Uh, they very kindly sent me this out to review. And, um, I mean, it's interesting about these sort of things because my main use for them is sort of uh, vlogging and what have you. You know, so I would, uh, I mean, this this one just fits with the um, with quite a thick case on, but it, it does just nicely hold that, but it doesn't clamp round it fully, but it does work like that. Uh, the best way is actually to take this phone off, uh, this phone case off, and this six plus will fit in there just right, and it does clamp round it and everything. But you know, I can't get that to actually clamp up any tighter. But uh, I use it for vlogging. That's the main reason that I have them. I do use them occasionally for um, sort of sat nav and stuff like that when I go on longer journeys and what have you. If I don't know exactly where I'm going, then sat nav uh, is definitely a big use for it. Um, obviously, I have it plugged in at the time because sat nav does uh, hammer the hell out of the battery, unfortunately. But uh, more to the point of this video is this holders it, it sort of goes it, it's up there with you know the better ones that you can get uh, i've got absolutely no sort of qualms in saying that really it's got the you know if you do that you've got the the quick release when you press your phone in there that clamp shut around your phone you know and then if you had it in an upright orientation which i'll show you that actually because you've got these adjustments here and then we've got another one on the back that allows that to swivel in lots of directions what have you. It's fairly smooth, a little rough in places. And, you know, it's this part here is quite, you know, it's all, it's all quite cheaply built. Now I had to put one of these on my dashboard. This is one of the, um, it's got one of the sticky gel type ones, which are absolutely great. And they are supposed to stick to any surface. As you can see, I haven't got a super gnarly dashboard, but it doesn't stick very well to it guys uh, unfortunately i did have to put one of these uh, smooth plates on and i've only just moved it here actually i did actually have it on the window over in the corner here but um, i sort of wanted to change things a little bit for vlogging you know from a different angle and what have you and you know from a vlogging point of view it doesn't matter which one you get they are not going to be perfect let's face it they all have a little bit of vibration there are some better ones out there uh, but not many above the level of this one I would say you know um, you do get some really cheap and nasty ones out there that uh, you should really try and avoid guys but from the point of view of what these are designed for to hold your phone in a position where you can see it it does the job admirably well um, it gives a little bit of vibration for vlogging but like I say they're not really designed for that guys so you know in that respect it's a great device so you know a big thank you to uh, Tarata for sending this out for review and um, you know I suppose it it just gives you guys a bit of you know a bit of insight and thought in you know how you would use one of these sort of things I mean you know those there obviously they're just to sit your phone on and it leaves that gap open at the bottom for um, for putting things in I mean I don't really for putting your cable in but I don't really use that because even if I'm using sat nav I tend to prefer the landscape here but then I suppose with being into video and what have you landscape just seems more natural to me anyway so you know some people do prefer to be in the portrait position but um, yeah I mean it, it's it's worth its money guys I'll leave all the links underneath the video so you can go and check it out if you're interested in one Big thank you to Tarata for sending it out for review, and I will see you guys in the next video. So, cheers guys, see ya.